welcome back to my channel. So I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. I've been busy filling orders. And this one is also an order for a pretty trinket box. But I thought that I'd videotape this one because I'm trying to get that Petri dish effect. And I thought it would be really pretty. Plus, I'm going to show you how to save money by just buying the plain clear um, glass shards, the mirror glass, and dyeing it yourself to the color that you want using alcohol inks. Very simple process. And uh, I will list in the description below the products that I have used to do this. And also, I have uh, discount codes for J Diction resin and BB Craft items, and uh, also how to reach me Facebook, Instagram, my Amazon wish list, my email address, etc. etc. It's all in the description below, so check it out. So, here you see all I did was put some alcohol ink into that cup that I put some of the glass in, stirred it up for a little bit, poured it out, and let it dry. It couldn't be easier than that. And the color stays on. Um, it doesn't seem to bleed once you put it into resin. So I decided that I would put this all around the edges because I wanted it to be really pretty and sparkly. And I wasn't sure if my Petri dish effect with the alcohol inks was going to spread all the way down the sides to get to the top. So I thought that I would put these glass um, bits in. And this way the top edge of the trinket box will be pretty whether the um, inks reached it or not. I just didn't want it to be clear. And this is a really pretty color that I like, and I thought it would be nice. I'm just going to do some uh, pretty bright colors with the alcohol ink. And the whole process is you fill everything up with clear. And uh, after I let the clear sit and the bubbles rise from the um, trinket box there, because that they get trapped in the glass at the bottom so you want to let the bubbles rise and come out and after I do that then I will use my alcohol inks of which I use four different colors uh, a boysenberry purple um, a Laguna kind of an aqua color a glacier blue which is this color and um, also gumball, which is kind of a magenta type color. And then after you put all those colors in, then you start dropping your white over top all of it. And if it works, the white should sink through grabbing the colors and just leave what is what they call a Petri dish effect, but it's just like just just a soft effect of little spores almost it looks like but it but it just leaves a really cool look and i'm not sure how it's going to turn out doing it in a trinket box i've only done it in uh, on flat items like coasters and such so what i do end up doing is using a toothpick to pull the sides away so that some of the color will go down because it doesn't seem to want to just go down on its own. And uh, I wanted to make sure that it seeps down the sides and hopefully I can get the white to do it too. Also, you will find out that since I was working more than one project, because you see how much uh, resin I mixed up, I turned the camera off to do the other project and forgot to turn it back on when I first started dropping in the colors. So when I do come back right here, I've already dropped them all in and done a first round, pushed the colors down with a toothpick. 
and then I went around with the colors again. And you will now see me top all of that off with white. And that white will sink just like the first layer of white, as you can see, has already sunk. So this will sink. I'm going to leave it like this and uh, it should fall through and make a cool effect in the end. So I'm hoping that at least the top will look really cool. Um, it's not real deep, but I should get something that looks cool. So now I, overnight, and as you can see, it's time to unmold and the white has really sunk. So first we'll take out the top and this is the one I'm hoping really shows something nice and uh, doesn't, isn't blobby or anything. Okay, so it is a very soft Petri dish effect. The colors are, are real pretty spreading out, so I'm happy with that. Now, as far as this went, I don't really think the white went down the sides much, but still, all in all, with that crushed glass, I think it came out looking really, really pretty. The colors are really lovely. So I will take a really nice picture of it at the end so you can see how cool it looks. Completely cured after 48 hours because I like to let things sit, especially when they have tops on them because you want to make sure that you put them together and you let them stay so that nothing gets misshapen. This is the time to make sure your top fits your box before you have absolutely no flexibility at all. Because right now, if I had to, I could bend this a little if I had to. Okay, it's almost completely cured, but there's still some gift. So there you go. Here's a close-up, and you can see the Petri dish effect. I think it came out really, really neat, and I love the blue glass. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you like what you've seen, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I appreciate everything you all have to say. So thank you all so much. Till next time, please stay safe, be kind, and have a great day.